Wah wah wah! Eight reasons ah uh, why ah uh, he uh, won the president election leh. Eh. Okay okay now ah uh, the eight reasons ah uh, why he won the president election. Okay, he is a popular politician. Okay, an economist by profession. He is the most qualified in uh, financial management. He is also intelligent, articulate, and fluent in English language. Knowledgeable in international affairs, and a diplomatic and likable person. He chose an auspicious emblem for his election, <laughs> and he is also a gracious presidential election a candidate. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, in understanding the evolution of democracy in Singapore, you can't avoid looking at history, how we started. And the circumstances that we were we were we were given as a country that wasn't meant to be, uh, democracy has evolved, it has strengthened, uh, and I believe it has to strengthen further. But let's not think uh, that the way to strengthen it further is to simply leave everything without restraint. It hasn't worked in the most advanced democracies, and it's not going to work, especially in a diverse Asian society. But 80 of but your 87 parliamentary seats are taken up by the ruling party, Lee Kuan Yew's party. I mean, that's not healthy, is it, really? Yeah. It isn't. Um, if you look at Alberta, since 1971, you've had the same party in power, and today it controls 70 out of, what, 85 or something like that? Yeah, so, so it's uh, a one, it's a, you know, Canada is a democracy. thriving liberal democracy. But yours is a but one, one don't, don't hit too hard uh. a government that works very hard to do what is in the interest of the people and has a good track record. Okay. Right? Don't hit it too hard. Okay. And then, um, second... Second question but is, I, but I, in Singapore, there isn't room to, so I, to, 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 to so, enjoy yeah. a few years of quote-unquote wildness. Right. Where, where, so, you can't, so, unfortunately, there, there, there... Where's the creativity? Where's the chance so, to kick back, think, there, and smoke something interesting? So, there are, two, <laughs> there, there are two parts to that question. First... Uh, you're free to be as wild and wanton and uh, take time off and uh, do what you'd like with your life, but you don't have to get state assistance for doing so. That's the point. The point is, how do you, with a limited budget, whilst keeping the tax revenues low, keeping spending low, how do you apply it most effectively? And I believe the best way to apply it is to reward personal responsibility. I've got nothing against take people taking time off. In fact, it's not a bad way to live your life, to take some time off from time to time. It, you re-energize yourself, you think of new ideas, you might switch jobs. But the unfortunate fact of the last 50 years is that governments that gave money without conditions, in other words, as long as you're unemployed, you get it, and you get it for an extended period, did not anticipate how it would change social culture. Unfortunately, social culture changes, and it changes in response to incentives, and we don't want that to happen in Singapore. The more serious point, though, is that it is true that developing Singapore into a more innovative society, which is what its future has to be, mm. does require a certain amount of free play of ideas yeah. at the level of the individual and groups of individuals, and we have to allow for that. And I don't think allow for that means we just mimic what the Bay Area in the United States is. We are a different society, but we've got to evolve, we've got to give more free play to the individual and to individual choices. They may be right or wrong choices, but people will learn with time. Well, if I may say so, that is a very interesting answer, and I just think your entire presentation has been fantastic. So, we, I, apologies from me, because I've made you all late for lunch. It is now lunchtime, but ladies and gentlemen, before we go to lunch, just please give the warmest of warm hands to Tharman Chandra. <laughs> Thank you so much. We have to accept the reality now of a multipolar world and ascendant China, but there are several other challenges. If we don't invest adequately in Africa and the emerging world, we have a global issue. If we just take Africa alone, the size of the young population that is about to enter the workforce is about three times larger than China at its peak. And if we don't sort that out, we get a compounding of problems that are already beginning to show up. Forced migration, the health pandemics, plus the fact that you lose out on the opportunity of a very large growth market for the world economy. The Salmon, along with Bank of England Governor Mark Carney, are the inaugural...
sensitive flowers in the West, the, the authoritarianism that underpins that approach to managing a society feels uncomfortable to us. Yeah, so that's, that's a, a caricature. I mean, even the economist, which is not exactly a cheerleader for Singapore, uh, has, uh, would say, as it just did on its, in its um, uh, editorial form of obituary when Mr. Lee Kuan Yew mm. passed away, uh, that Singapore has free, fair and regular elections. We are a parliamentary democracy, not in a, exactly the same mould as Britain or the United States, certainly. No, I mean, but we I are think a parliamentary be... democracy and an elected government makes decisions which it feels are the best, in the best interests of the country today and for the future. And we, we are accountable for it. Yeah, I mean, it's a democracy of sorts. You, you don't have a genuinely free, truly liberated press. Not in the British sense. No, well, but, not, not in but, any sense. I mean, uh, but in the, uh, much but as I'd like to take credit so, for the notion yeah, of a free press, well, it's not I, a British I, idea. It's I, just a... I didn't mean it entirely as a compliment, <laughs> but, I, but as, a, as a description. Okay, thank you, thank you. Hello. Hey, we come to the end really there. Have you pressed the button yet? Subscribe lah. Okay, thank you. Subscribe. And also, press the button like. Yeah, very good. Thank you. And then, have a nice day.